I can read you from a mile away. Before you shake my hand, I know what type of nigga you are. Mm. Where you think that intuition come from? People giving up on me. You feel me? Back to back. I guess a lot of people didn't believe in me. And I was really left for dead. Like, mm. Luke 15. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners, and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. Either, what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it, and when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, Hell Bashem. Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakudash, a much mercy uh, to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. And all you brothers that believe that are convicted in your spirit that you are of power. To all you ones that understand the Lord's covenant, man. Understanding the Lord in these days is great power. You see? So by you understanding him, you will be in no in no position to put him off, man. You will be repenting and simply just coming out of the world. Um... What I want to do, man, I want to go into um, Luke right here. And it's so important in these days, the election and the ones that know power to recognize uh, God, you know, recognize his son and his, and his uh, covenant by just repenting. And in order to for men and certain ones to repent. The song has to be sung in a particular way. So there is no new song without the new covenant, without you having that new heart. Um, this is what you have to understand. A lot of guys, they're just teaching, man, with no end to it. You know, guys just want to teach forever. They want to teach for another 40 years. This, The new covenant is to, is to close this thing up. You know, like like um, like the closers, like the pitchers, the closing pitchers in um, baseball. You have pitchers that come in in the eighth and the ninth inning and they close the game up. This is the position that few of us brothers in, you know, urging men to repent and certain men. The, the thing about it is like certain men are going to know that they're of the spirit, but they just going to need you to say particular things to urge men to repent and then that's what that's what this is this is this is helping certain men understand who they are and it all goes back to eternal life so if, if you understand your how shy that means you have eternal life if you are against the lord in these last times that means that you were you are of the world and you were against god and really if you just believe man and you understand that you can't walk as the world or walk as the many you know this is a narrow path this is something you have to understand too but in this time the elect are remembering himself and the song the song is being sung you see you have to be teaching the new covenant repenting in order to be to be singing the new song and only a few men are able to sing that song that's what the scriptures mean. We have piped unto you and, and you have not danced. 
Guys are not able to sing to the new dance to the new song of the new covenant because they're of the world. They like the old wine better. And the scripture tell you, uh, guys are guys don't have any salt. And what does salt does? If you put salt in a bag, it reserves the meat. So guys don't have any salt. Therefore, they don't have the meat of your house shy. This is Luke chapter 15, verse one. It says, then draw near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmur, saying, this man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. Right. Exactly. We're not we're not with the ones that are exalted, that are on fucking high horses. You see, we're, we're dealing with the ones that are in a low place. That's who the Lord is calling. The Lord said, when you come in this wedding, you take the Lord's seat. Therefore, when the time comes, the Lord said, hey, come up, my friend. And the ones that put themselves up there, you could clearly see they never belong there. It said he spake a par parable unto them, saying, it says, what of you having a hundred sheep? If ye lose one of them, do of not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he find it, he lay it on his shoulders, rejoicing. So right now, what's happening at the end of this time, uh, the angels are rejoicing. And what's happening is the song is going out. This, this is a song of repenting from the world. You, you're not singing this song uh, in groups. You're just teaching a doctrine orchestrated by men. The new song is a song of repenting unto the new covenant, which takes you having a new heart. This is what you have to understand. A lot of guys, they don't, they're just teaching the Bible. When they go to the, the highways and the hedges, they're just teaching prophecies. They don't have an understanding of like what the fuck they're teaching. They don't have an understanding because it wasn't meant for them to understand. You know, this is this is one of the things that a lot of guys in these times, yeah, certain guys say they teach the Bible, but they're without understanding in these times. And you have to understand who you actually are. Like I said, by us teaching, we're not we're not only letting guys know uh, that we're not only making brothers and, and, and having men understand that they're of God. We're also having men understand that they don't have anything to do with God. This is coming out of guys more and more. So what's happening, the spirit is rejoicing, man. And a lot of guys, they're grieving the Holy Spirit by being against it. They're not uh, people. These guys in these groups, they're not rejoicing. They're grieved. They're they they're gnashing on their teeth because of what's being taught. And this ain't personal. It's just the Lord's business, man. This thing has to be closed up. And by how these guys in the world are teaching, this will this thing will never be closed up. It'll never stop. It'll never end. Because the key ingredient is actually having faith and repenting to Yahweh Shai. Guys are not really teaching that like that. Because it was set up for guys not to really teach that like that. You guys are set up to buy this world more time. That's what this whole thing is about. The demons say, hey, you come to torment me before our time. Because they had a little time left. They know when your house shy come, it's all over. That's why the demon said, can we at least go into the pigs? And them pigs went crazy. You see? By how them pigs went crazy. This is the spirit that's on, guys. They're crazy out of their fucking mind. Teaching against the new covenant. That's crazy. You're crazy. And a lot of you guys that's in the new covenant, man, you're against it, bro. All types of opposition. To, to help keep this world. Luke 15 and 6. And when he cometh home, he called together his friends and neighbors, saying unto him, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which is lost. This is what's happening. Finding the elect. 
Like I always refer to the Matrix, man. They had to go in and, fi and find Neo. This is the same analogy of being fishermen. The Lord said, hey, I'll make you a fisher of men. You're fishing certain men out. You're not fishing groups of men out. This is a narrow path. Once you're fished out, you're going to have to walk a narrow path, mainly by yourself. But you're not by yourself. You know, the Lord is with you, but this is a narrow path. Not too many can walk this path with you. So this is a time of rejoicing because certain men are are coming back unto uh, God. They're, they're repenting, man. The, the main thing in this time is to come out of the world. Things that are against the Lord and his son. That is the main thing that you must do. Uh, Luke 15 and 7. I say unto you, likewise, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than 90 and 9 just persons with need no repentance. Right. So every new brother and every new soul that's that's like repenting mainly the election right um the heavens are rejoicing you see the heavens are rejoicing the the angels are rejoicing it's, it's joy in the heavens, bro. That's why this is a different type of time. Matter of fact, let me read something. I'm going to come back to this because uh, dealing with this, dealing with this truth in this time is different because in these last days, the scripture tell you that, that Michael is going to have to stand up. So the ones that are written in the book are the ones that are testifying your house shy. It's just that easy. If you're not testifying your house shy or in his defense in this time, you're against him. You act like you are, but you're really not. You're not written in the book of life. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse one. It says at the same time, Michael shall stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as there since, such as never was since there was a nation, even at the same time, at the time that people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And every and many of them. See, Michael is going to stand up. The arch angle angel. That means that uh, Michael is the angels are protecting the ones that are written, the ones that are of power. If you're not repenting unto God and, and if you're not trying to make an effort to do what's right, you're just out there open. That's why Yahweh Shai is the Passover. So by you not following and doing what Yahweh Shai is saying, this world can't pass you over. You're just going to be taken over by this world. This that's the new Passover. Just like the, the spirits in Egypt, you'll write the blood at the doorpost. You'll put the lamp the, the blood of the lamb on your doorpost, and the death angel will, will fly over you. It's the same thing with Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai it's not in you and you're not repenting unto him and following him. The death, death is not going to pass over you. So that's why we see all these guys in these camps. They're just full of death. And it's so deceitful. It is highly deceitful because they make you think that they're teaching the Lord, but they're teaching very deceitfully. And at the main point, they show you that they're not of God and they cannot agree with them. It does not take you having a new body to just mentally agree, to spiritually agree with the Lord. This this lets you know that guys are carnal and they're of the world. They're not spiritual at all. Just because guys can speak and teach certain things, it does not mean that the Lord's in agreement with, with them and they're in agreement with the Lord. This is about being in agreement with power. 
The new covenant just means that you uh, are in agreement with power. You agree with the Lord. And this is something that the election have already obtained. So that that's why it's real stupid for guys to make it seem like that you have to wait on something. There's no waiting on anything. That's why uh, the scripture tell you when you go back to the prophet Isaiah, the scripture say, matter of fact, let me read this uh, Romans 11 and three. Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars and I am left alone and they seek my life. This is why the Lord was out in the mountains. That's why he he, he would he would meet with his disciples. He would do some miracles and he would dwell alone. Isaiah said, and I am left alone. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to the knee in the image of Baal. All right, these guys in these camps, they're, they're already have bowed to the knees of uh, Baal. They have already bowed to the knees. Because the Lord said, if you're not with him, then basically you are against him. There's no if, ands, or buts. So this is what you have to understand. If you're not repenting unto God, you're against him. Romans 11 5, it says, even so then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. There is a remnant according to the election of grace. There is a remnant according to the election of grace. Grace ain't for everybody. I don't know what you guys are. You guys are you, you guys are evil. That's what you guys are. You're evil. And because guys can manipulate the scriptures and. Uh, teach this for the world this is where they get their consolation in order for them to keep their consolation they have to deny the power all right so a remnant only the remnant which is the election they're the ones that are under the grace even so then at this present time this is right after this verse. Let me read Romans 4 and again. It says, but save after the, am the answer of God unto him. I say, I reserve to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to the knee in the image of my all. Right. So if you're not in the covenant, that means you have bowed to this world. You're of the world, bro. Guys want you to wait and procrastinate procrastination. Because our people are full of shit. They're in the middle. We're not there yet. You know, double-minded. <laughs> we're there yet, but we're not there yet. Like you guys that say you're in a new covenant. You're still waiting on new bodies. You guys using the fucking camp doctrine for the new covenant, man. All you goddamn clowns, man. Romans 11 and 5. Even so, at this present moment, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So only the remnant are under grace and if by grace then it is not more of works otherwise grace is no more grace but if it's of works it is no more grace otherwise work is no more work so it's all about who's under the lord's grace who's of the election this ain't by the, the works of the law this is about those who were chosen men were chosen not to bow down to uh, Baal. Men were chosen not to bow down to this world. Men were chosen to be of the covenant already. It was already set. It was predestined like that. It was predestined for men to repent. It was predestined for guys to de deny the power. You just got to figure out which side you lay on. That's what you got to figure out. And we're here to help you <laughs> to figure that out. Even if you don't fucking like it or not. 
Romans 11 and 7, it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for. Right, the rest of our people. But the election have obtained it. That means the election have the grace. So that grace begins when you remember yourself and you start That's repenting. Enough, Pluto. Enough, Pluto. But you were predestined for that grace. Therefore, you will repent. So guys that are against repenting, they don't have any fucking grace. That's why guys look all fucked up. It says, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded according to as it is written. God have given them the spirit of slumber that they should not see in ears that they should not hear until this day. That's why guys cannot hear the spirit. This ain't for guys. So going back to Luke 15. It's a beautiful time because certain men are repenting and you brothers that's teaching the Lord in sincerity. Urging men to repent, getting men to understand Yahweh Shai. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. Luke 15 and 8, it says, Either what woman having 10 pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, do if she light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she have found it. Right. This is about finding the elect, searching them out. The spirit is searching them out. This ain't for the world. It's a search and rescue for the election in this time. <laughs> the spirit is searching guys out. And all these carnal camps were set up to make you stumble. And certain carnal motherfuckers of the new covenant. They were set up to, to, to get you to stumble. All right. So you be you be all confused. We're not in the middle over here. We're not dancing. Like I said, we're helping you remember who the fuck you are. Either you fall on two sides. Either you're of God or either you're of the fucking world. All right. It says, and when she had found it, she called her friends and neighbors saying together, rejoice with me for I found the peace which I have lost. Likewise, I say unto you. There is a joy in the presence of angel and of God over one sinner that repenteth. Whew. Heavy. So it's a beautiful thing to repent. That's why these guys don't push that, man. They don't push you re to repent. They're all reprobates. Talking about the, the, the new covenant demon. This shit crazy than a motherfucker. Those guys are down, bro. You better get away from these guys that's cursing these camps. It's heavy, man. The Lord said, the kingdom of heaven is not by a word, but in power. And so how we display the power that by guys are repenting? To help men repent, that is power, man. It's power in the spirit. When everybody is not repenting, the spirit is getting certain men to repent. That is the display of power. And we don't have to put ourselves out there. The spirit that we put out there is helping men to repent. That is what's so beautiful in this time. Guys, right, so they call the Lord a demon. Yeah, it's heavy, man. It is heavy. Yeah, it is heavy, bro. Mark 11 and um, 15. And they came to Jerusalem and Yahweh went to the temple and began to cast them out that soul and brought in the temple 
and overthrew the tables of the money exchangers in the seats of them that sold doves. And would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, It is not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. That's what these guys are. They're a bunch of thieves because really this Bible, it don't belong to these guys. They say they're teaching prophecies. It don't belong unto them. So Esau, these guys on the streets, like I said, Esau don't care about these guys out there. They're, they're nothing, man. It says, and the scribes and the priests heard it and saw how they might destroy him. For they feared him because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. So we're teaching the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai has his own doctrine. And you go back to the parable of the prodigal son. The most important thing about that parable is that the son that was lost, the father was just happy to take him back. You see? Matter of fact, let me let me read this again. Let me read this real quick, Luke. I'm gonna start at uh 20. Matter of fact, I'm going to start right here. I'm starting at 20, Luke 15 and 20. And he arose and came to his father. But when he saw yet, when he saw he was yet a great way off, the father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell to his neck and kissed him. Right. So the son was coming back, bro. And the father was just happy for him coming back. It's, that's just like like guys in these camps. You have like you're in these camps. You have no way for uh, there is no salvation being in these camps. So what's the most important thing? Repenting is turning from the doctrine and turning from camps. But just by you doing that, that is the first step of repenting. That is, that is a major step. It says, and the son said unto the father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Right. Because the son, he was going off. He was lost. Like a lot of you guys, you're lost in the world. But check this out. But the father said to his servant, being forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. So the Lord said, so the father said, bring the best robe. And put it on him. And that's a lot of guys being covered in the spirit in these times. Because they are coming back unto the father. They're coming back unto Yahweh Shai. And bring hither the, the fatted calf and kill it. And let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead. And is again and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be Mary, who for his eldest son was in the field and has came to drew nigh to the house and he heard the music and he dancing and he called one of the servant asked what things this meant and he said unto him thy brother is come and the father have killed the fatted calf because he have received him safe and sound so over one soul that is repenting the heavens is rejoicing. That's what's closing this time up. This time is closing up because men are repenting, man. That's 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 what this is. So you're not waiting to, to get in no covenant. Men are repenting and coming back to the Father. So the angels standing in the four winds of destruction, they're waiting till every one of the elect is sealed in their mind. And this ain't something you're going to see. You're just going to feel it. And you're going to know the elect is finished. You're going to know the elect is sealed and this thing is done. You're going to know it. You're going to feel it. So this, this man was happy. The father was happy. Just because his son came back. You know, and, and it's the same thing in this time that 
certain men were dead in the world and the father's just happy that his son was found. And it's the same analogy dealing uh, with this new covenant. You know, by the new covenant being taught, this is directing men to the way that they have to repent. So you're not coming under, you're not, you're not leaving the camp in the world to come under us or men or nothing. You're coming under the spirit. Guys, guys are so carnal. They're like, oh, we got to come under you guys. It ain't, it ain't fucking like that. You're, you're coming under the Lord, bro. You're getting back to the father, man, through his son. This, hey, the Lord said in John 14, if you come back to the son, him and the father will come and make an abode with you. That means the Holy Spirit will dwell with you. Guys are stopping the Holy Spirit from really dwelling with you. Because they make you think that they're in the spirit because they know all this shit about the world. It's heavy. And it makes no sense for guys to talk about Abraham and you're denying the covenant right now. The covenant is a faith. You don't need to see nothing to believe in the covenant. That's what fucks these guys up too. They're teaching a spiritual Bible that is literally a faith. And because they're carnal, they don't understand that this draws off of everything that is unseen. The scriptures say, Hope that is seen is not hope. And then it says, we walk by faith and not by sight. But these guys are telling you they need a fucking body. Like some of you carnal motherfuckers in the new covenant. You're still carnal like the camps. Teaching that camp doctrine shit. Are you fucking reprobates? All you guys are set up to buy this world more time, man. You got all types of guys in the new covenant that are in the fucking flesh. But what you got to understand is this parable of the son coming back unto his father, the father was just so happy that the Lord came, that the, that the son came back. Luke 15, 24 says for this, my son was dead and is alive again. So you're not, you're not in the spirit unless you come back into the covenant. That's what this parable is saying. You're dead. The law of Moses is dead, bro. You have to come under the Lord. It says, for this is my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be married. Now this eldest son was in the field and heard him draw nigh to the house. And he heard the music and dancing. And one of the servants, and he called one of the servants and asked what this things meant. And he said unto him, thy brother is come and thy father have killed the fatted calf because he have received him safe and sound. And he was angry. And would not go in, therefore came out his father and treated him and answering. So this is the son that was already found. That's why the parable is saying a soul that already repents, the angels rejoice more over somebody that is just repenting. You see what I'm saying? Because we're already repented. But this is what the father told him. It says, lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress it I at any time thy commandment. And yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends but as soon as this son was come which have devoured the living things with harlot and thou hast killed him killed for him the fatted calf he said unto him son thou art ever with me and all that i have is thine it was meet that we should make merry and be glad for this brother which was dead is alive again and was lost now is found so he's telling him hey be happy because this certain brothers, your brother, he was lost. Now he's found. And that's what this parable is about. Parable is about. The heavens are rejoicing because men that have never repented are repenting now. So the ones that are repenting right now every day it means more than brothers that already repented. The, each soul that's repenting that moves us closer to getting the hell out of here. So with that, man, uh, brothers continue to repent. Um, this is this is what this thing is about, man. Matter of fact, let me let me read something. So guys are calling us demons because we're helping men repent. <laughs> Shit crazy as hell. You fucking guys out there. Matthew three and two and saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And like the scriptures say, the kingdom of heaven, it don't come with with observation. The kingdom of heaven is within us, bro. Because we have the heart of the Lord. But this world doesn't accept that. Matthew 4 and 17. For the time 
Yahweh Shai began to preach and say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right, man. Matter of fact, let me read this in Luke. Luke 17 and 20. I, I love, I love Luke 17. I might read this again. I might read the whole chapter, but Luke 17 and 20, it says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of heaven should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of heaven cometh not with observation, right? Because guys are carnal. They, they always have to see something. You see? Neither low, they say, low here. Or lo there, for the kingdom of God is within you. This is the heart of God, bro. A lot of you guys, you was 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 heavy in this time too. Is this guys wasn't given that understanding that to really understand God. Yeah, you can understand prophecies, but you don't really understand God and his son. Because that wasn't given unto you. But uh with that man, let me get out of here. I'll speak with you, brothers. Uh, a little bit later, um, one soul that repented, um, the angels and the heavens are rejoicing in this time and we're rejoicing too, you know, and this is something can't nobody take away from us, man. So by you, one of the things too that, that make you have joy in the spirit is that you have something to do with men actually repenting. And a lot of you guys that are against men uh, repenting unto the new covenant, you're damned in the inside. You're tormented. Because as men repent, it gets us closer and closer to fulfilling uh, things and, and fulfilling and getting us out of here, man. So that's what's so beautiful. So with that, I'll speak with you brothers on the next one. With that, A, Shalom, continue to repent. A, Shalom. Doesn't have Pluto, doesn't have Pluto.